Okay, so ultimately, oh man, it's kind of cold in here. Ooh, oh, got another stretch. I don't know why I keep stretching in these <laughs> intros now. I took a little bit of a break to rest my voice and hop into this episode. Um, day 11, guys, right? Day 11, ladies and gents. I'm going to confirm that. It is day 11. I said that I was going to get like deep and more metaphysical around this point in time but honestly nah i'm just gonna act like i'm gonna get deep i don't want to get too off like knowing me man i could go like i can come straight out of like a left field with this if i want to but i think that'll throw people off and i kind of want this to stay general so you know we touched on reality in the last one so maybe i'll just throw in more just things that I've learned across my journey in this one. I had written down at an earlier number, but I definitely didn't follow exactly what I had written down for each one. I know it seems like it, but I mostly had them written down, but not in order. <laughs> but I had comparison is the thief of joy, and I don't know if I'm going to name this one necessarily that. This episode and like the last one may just end up whatever I realized within the video. And um, comparison is really like the thief of joy. I want to, I want to, I want to shout this specific experience. I'm going to talk about to to uh, my roommate when she did a she did like a, a makeup little thing. Like she did a skull. Like she she wanted to do like a, a makeup. I think she, I forgot what her idea was. Pretty much, she wanted to do like a, a a makeup thing every single day till the end of the month. I think that's what it was. Look, if you're watching this, don't quote me on this. I don't I don't remember exactly what your idea was, but I remember what was that? I need a drink of water. But I remember her doing her her skull. She did like a skeleton for the first first day. And it was it was good it was really good it was like really fire but immediately i seen all that emotion sapped straight from her bones as she went to open up tiktok and of course because of synchronistic ways the universe works <laughs> no but the, the way this the way this, that energy works of course she opens it up to uh somebody who did skull makeup i guess i don't i don't know i wasn't around her when it happened but immediately, like when I came in and this was happening, she shows me her phone and says, oh, look at this one, it's just so much better. Now, I know from you, the viewer watching this video, you're probably thinking like, oh, but it's just like one time or whatever that, and I want you to, I want to preface this by making you understand that it was not one time, it is like all the time. And I've, and I've you know, drilled her on this so many times, pause, but like, just the fact that if you compare yourself to some first of all okay it goes back to the whole walking in your own shoes thing nobody is on the path you're on and even if they are if you're not directly in a network with them like you can talk and bounce ideas off of yourself it's not good to compare yourself to others and maybe there is a there's the positive out of it where you can say it's good to compare yourself aside people who you think are doing like well in life. But again, those things to me are really subjective. That was bothering me, the alignment of my monitor. I'm very particular with how things are aligned instead of bothering me. But as an OCD, <laughs> damn you, mom, you gave it to me. But she jokes about how she passed it down to me. But um, yeah. Uh, originally I forgot what I was going to name this one. There was something I wanted to go in, but I think it was the just comparison is the thief of joy because it's just like, yeah, you know, you can throw in the little, little nuances and subjectivity to certain things that like, yeah, it's a perspective, but I really think comparison kills you because like, again, with having access to see people's life so easily now, you're, you're quick to think like a lot of these people are like overnight or something like that. When if you, what is a really cool feature with going and looking at people's past and, and not to say that this doesn't happen for people, like, you, you know, all, like, anything's possible. So, but if you go to some of these creators, YouTube channels, say you're trying to be a YouTuber, cause you know, I've had people ask me what's advice 
advice for being a YouTuber. And I really say, man, you do you like really do you. And I was in a clubhouse. I don't think the app is called clubhouse anymore meeting where it was Mr. Beast. I don't know if you guys know the app, but I think it was 80 people, including me, Mr. Beast, Keemstar, and one of YouTube's like, I guess like assisted directors or something. And I just always, this stuck through me is that the algorithm is a wild beast for one, like life. It's just a wild kind of chaotic energy that, you, you know, it's just chaotic, chaotic. You know, some things might blow up, some may not, blah, blah, blah. But he mentioned that you should be you and you should be real to your heart on what you want to put out and create and really have the passion to do this because the fake will eventually come out or get exposed. And I truly feel like that. Like maybe unless you're just a good, you're just good on that. You'll never fall. You have a foolproof plan and just like you're just going to whatever. Or maybe you're just transparent about just being about business and going back to what I said about following the trends. But never try to be fake. Never try to portray yourself like you're some something that you're not you know use aspects of yourself that you are and put those out there even if they're exaggerated or you're playing a character but don't do something that is not genuinely you you're just seeing other people do it and you try to chase the trend that was technically yeah that was really what he his words were were that he feels like in a in a way and i'm gonna throw the spiritual thing behind it is you definitely know that belief and frequency and all this goes into it i just want to throw that out there so you know that definitely plays the role of how the algorithm picks up your stuff because my stuff has gotten thrown in the algorithm randomly on other channels and i was like whoa that's crazy like a video did tremendously well and i don't even know the reason behind why like one video just spikes to twenty thousand views and you're just like what the heck but um speaking about this is it goes back to the whole comparison thing is you're being you man like uh i don't know if i touched on this greatly on in the authentic video i think i did but i don't know how much i stress this but i really feel like a key to life and this whole thing and like literally thinking like living a complete life is nailing what it means down for you while being yourself like you can take advice and take certain things and blah, blah, I say only take advice in the path that you're going down. So if you have a certain path in life, only take advice from people who have been down a similar path. That's it. Never outside of it. I have stories for that, that will come in the future. But um, the whole comparison thing is that that may lead some people into just comparing themselves to others is that you don't know what it took this person to gain these skills to get here or whatever you don't know the, the and it goes back to the walking in you know certain your own shoes and their own shoes like them they're over there doing their thing you know you don't know the the time the dedication and anything that went into these certain things which what i meant to mention before before i got into this whole little rant was that I like the feature where you can go on these YouTube accounts and see how old the accounts were to give you a time frame of how it happens for certain people. I, I feel like one of the biggest things to tell you when it comes to like, I know we're gonna say on the whole thing of comparing yourself to others, but I seen what it did to her. And that's why I bring her up as a reference because I see it all the time, but because it can create a bad habit that gets programmed into your mind where you're constantly comparing yourself to others. I don't know if this is a thing that women struggle with comparing themselves to others a lot, but I'm telling you, it's the thing you got to definitely get down because it, it can really just sap you of your joy. And that's why I had it written down in my journal as comparison is the thief of joy. And, you know, I, if I was to give this to my younger self, cause this is what the original series I had planned was based on is I really would have went back and told myself like, like it, it's been the lesson with me forever, like to be more myself and less of the mask I put on. I had an ex. She was amazing. She taught me one of the best lessons in my life is be the person that I fell in love with, which she was going back to the whole self-concept thing of, um, you know, like being polarizing. Don't be afraid to be you. Don't put on a mask just so certain people may be like leave you alone or certain people like you, but definitely st still be smart about how you operate in certain social circumstances. You know, don't just try to be a tyrant every goddamn moment you get that you're just over here being a menace over here being a menace you know read the room but at the end of the day don't walk in the lion's den 
and pretend like be who you are be, walk in and and be the lion that you are don't wa- don't walk into a place and be scared to you know like don't you know let that happen to you shout out to bob for that bar um but it's very true you know you did you just look if you found yourself in a position where you're walking into a room of, a room of fighters and you're like an up-and-coming fighter or something like that show why you got the grit show why you're here show why you deserve to be standing here and it's always for you again the outward battle is more like the show i feel like the role the movie the for the theatrics like when you when you're say like when you hear a youtuber be like subscribe we got to get these likes up or whatever if they understand the concept of how this works like how things get pushed to you which is mostly i think comments now comments are the best thing you need comments on your video but um you know the the things that really by the way yeah actually saying that if you really enjoyed these com- leave a comment down below for me anywhere on all the videos if you can because that does help it get pushed in the algorithm but like if you know that that's like the theatrics of it even when you go into a fight or maybe like you go into you get people that are um in anything that's competitive like olympians and stuff part of the theatrics is to act like you're in competition with others but really you're in a competition with yourself so i always say bring the competition back or bring bring it back make, make sure you're centered inside but you know maybe when you're talking outside you don't have to do this but i mean like when you'll know the people <laughs> i guess i'm trying to say it like this you'll know the people who know the theatric parts of everything to play it up but at the end of the day just remember because it can get confusing sometimes like that these people don't know but they definitely do that you're in a race against yourself to be the best you're not really in a race against anyone else to be the best that's almost a part of the the outward play that's going on i hope that makes sense man i it makes so much sense to me so i just hope someone can see through my chaos and hear the message and not my broken speech <laughs> i don't know how people say i articulate myself well bro sometimes but that is what i'm saying don't compare yourself to others but again for the theatrics when it comes to it like oh who's the best oh yeah i'm the best i got grit in the game that's like the the you know there's still like a respect for each other in certain things like that where you may because you know again as i'm doing youtube I better know I'm the goddamn best and know that I'm I'm in the best in my path that I'm going down. But it's never against anyone. And that kind of goes back to the other video I did of self-empowerment. You literally get a way more positive outcome when thinking you're the smartest, thinking you're the hardest and everything, thinking you're the you're a beast, it needs to be done. And when you when you are definitely like when you are definitely in that mindset and in that that just mm, that frequency you you'll get rid of the comparison because going back to what i said before about how i think that's the point to life is really you're not supposed to be a follower here you're supposed to be standing out and maybe you follow for a point in time but i also think when it comes to groups and communities and things like that it's a much different thing because i always talk about this concept of being individuals that come together that's how i feel like the world changes if you have a bunch of individuals that make up a community you have a bunch of individuals inside a community which bro that's literally like one piece that's the whole point zoro is the swordsman sanji is the is the chef but he still gets down then luffy is the captain then nami is the navigator then robin is the she is the translator for the bond eclipse i forgot what else robin serves but brooke is the musician chopper is the doctor jimbei is the i don't know is he the i don't know where i think he sails the ship now but he's like also like a commander sort of then you got um who am i missing is is the uh one girl that not biscuit that's hunter hunter who's the girl i'm forgetting like the snow bunny <laughs> i forgot her name she's the 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 are they called the sulong she's the sulong is she carrot is she on the group I, I can't remember but you know every every person is an individual and has their own storyline and and they're trying to be the best also zoro is trying to be the best swordsman but he's really against himself as if you've seen in recent I'm, i don't want to spoil anything but basically he he knows he's in a race against himself yeah just you get the point 
and I and I think comparison can really can really hinder you and knock you down, especially when you're younger and coming up. When you see, you know, what other people are doing or what other kids got, and that can really that should have been like the thing. I, I guess I should have focused on too. Is for me, comparison wasn't really bad when I was younger, um, but. I just think for a lot of people out there, you can't compare your journey to someone else's. You you really can't. Like, you really can't. You can find simul- similarities in somebody's journey. And I feel like even that, you can get to an extreme amount of similar similarities. But still, at the end of the day, that person's mind is their own mind. And they're creating a way different world than the one that you're creating. But maybe it looks like similar. Like, it's like a similar world, but it, it's still different at the end of the day. There's this quote I heard a long time ago when I was like 17, 18 that I really like. That even if someone says, comparing, even if someone says, that they seen what you seen too they still seen it different and that was so fire because that sunk in me because it was like yeah i had to keep that in mind for a lot of things that i experienced in life you know when you'd be like yo bro you seen that too you seen that too it's like they did and they might have but they're definitely internalizing it in a way different way so anyways With that said, I think that's 11. I think I did the best I could for comparison. It's mostly like referencing my roommate just to say like, it can really take you out your flow. Like once you got your ideas and what you're doing, start delivering, start, you know, evaluate, start, start going to the lab and doing things. And then, you know, uh, I would say if you're going to like to the drawing board and you're, and you're whipping stuff up, you can compare your work to other people's work but not in a toxic way where you're saying oh like this person's is better oh this person's is way better than me oh just this no and then also there's this thing about being humble too but i'm not even going to get into that because this will be a 20 minute one but i'll say like this right comparison again is one of those things that can be seen as good or bad but nine times out of ten for a lot of people it's on the negative from what i've seen from what i've seen where it's not a comparison of like, yo, we're like comparing notes or what do we find? And, it, and it's a fun thing. It's more of a negative connotation in today's day and life because everyone's in a race with each other and they're thinking they're to be the best in reality or they're against you because like I'm going to have all that. It's like it's like almost the competitive nature, but like then the overbearing part of it where it's not healthy. It's like an... an an obsession but i would argue you need to be obsessed in certain things but i i think when it all relates back to you like when i did my one channel i was obsessed i was there till 3 a.m making videos boom and all my work paid off so you know i was it was an obsession eat sleep and drink that passion but you know when it comes to living for the competition I mean, I can't speak for that because I'm not one of those people. But as long as like you're able to manage it in your mind, what can I say about comparison and not? But I just know there's a lot of people that would benefit from not comparing themselves a lot because it is the thief of joy. But when you start comparing and you didn't even get start on your journey for something like her idea that she had, she stopped it immediately. And I knew and it was like you should have just focused on your own makeup ideas. And yeah, hopefully I nailed that. See you guys later for day 12. Peace. nothing more for you here this is the end of the video now you can either subscribe or you can leave or you can stay and subscribe or this will be the last time we meet or maybe not maybe we're meeting again maybe you just decided to let the video play all the way through maybe you're i don't want to think about that i hope you enjoyed i'm out of here (laughs)